Many of you may say, hey, Glenn. Yeah, see, my kitty said, hey, Glenn. Who is this Mojo character? Hey, that, that, that's a fair question. Uh, Mojo is a master teacher by the American Bridge Teachers Association. Okay, Glenn, uh, what does that mean? Well, uh, well, according to the American Bridge Teacher Association, there are only about 80 of these <laughs> master teachers in all of North America. It's definitely not an easy accreditation. From what I gather from the sites that I've been searching through, that besides needing a lightsaber to teach, <laughs> they need to demonstrate their expert skills in the knowledge of bridge and communication skills. That's written and verbal and teaching approach and their ability to teach to all bridge levels. That's from novice all the way to experts. And for us newbies and novice at trick-taking games, this is great because we like to shuffle in the fun, well, with a smile uh, as we're going through the foundational steps, as we, I should say the baby steps, as we've done through Dylan, the baby steps through organizing, and the baby steps through Bidum. Now, we are transitioning into making the points in bridge. <laughs> we, we thought it would be great to have an expert, master bridge teacher. <laughs> Boy, was that obnoxious. <laughs> Woo! Uh, and guiding us through this of uh, making the points. Uh, he's taking us through making the contract, which involves points. And today he's going to take us through making the set, which again involves points. Now, along this journey through the guided pointed tunnel, we will instill some of our redundancy equals retention philosophy to get a full picture and to put you into that all aboard <laughs> brunch and bridge scenarios. Woohoo! Okay, Master Teacher Mojo, take us, track us, track us, whatever, take us through this. Hi, Mojo from the Pasadena Bridge Club. We're going to talk about setting contracts and keeping the score for that right now. Of course, you remember a contract is six plus the number of the contract. That's how many tricks you have to win. What's that called again? Uh, the book for the six tricks, yeah. Um, and the, you know what? There's a name for the tricks over six. Did you know about that? No. They call them odd tricks. I know. So you get points for the odd tricks you make, but what if you don't win as many as the contract calls for? Um, you've got a score sheet with us and them. There's the line down the middle for Rubber Bridge. Suppose we play in a contract of three diamonds by south, and we're playing north-south, so that's our contract. Now, how many tricks do we have to win for this? We have to win nine. But suppose we only win eight. That would be down one. Suppose we only win seven. That would be down two, right? You have to keep track because each of those tricks down have points attached to them. So when I write my contract down, three diamonds by south, and I say I'm down two, well, we don't get any points. Now the opponents get points. And each trick down is 50 points, it, you know, which is, it doesn't seem fair, right? We, the, for the three, three tricks we won, we, we would have gotten 20 points each because it was diamonds. But for going down, they get 50 points each. Ah, life's not fair. So they get 100 points. Here's oh. a good example. Oh, just, just because as a reminder of what you did for us last week, can you kind of on the top there put what each point was for of the hierarchy? Yeah. Clubs and diamonds, the minor suits, right? 20 points each. Hearts and spades, the major suits, 30 points each. And this, this is only the odd tricks. Remember that line, right? Odd tricks. No trump. That's the funny one. 40 points for the first trick plus 30 for each one after it, for the odd tricks only. You now we're talking, here's another example. Suppose uh, the opponents play in three no trump. Let's say it's three no trump by west. And they don't make their nine tricks. Suppose they only win six. That would be down three. So 50 points each, we get 150. That's pretty good. 
Nice, we'll take it. Nobody's making any contracts here so far. So. <laughs> is that unusual, just out of curiosity? Oh, no. It's a, you know, is that unusual to not make any contracts? Well, if you and your partner are over, overbid a lot, <laughs> you're not going to make any contracts. That's about it, going down. Uh, that's no that makes uh, I, I like the so we got a hundred okay so basically I'm looking at three diamonds south mm -hmm. and they were supposed to get like you said six is the book and if the three makes it and they're supposed to get nine tricks right so they got minus two tricks so that means they only got seven tricks correct right. the only one seven okay. our side one six and so each each uh, um, each trick that you that is set, it's set by explain that to me again so it's set by 50 points is that what you're saying 50 points each okay. so 100 points for going down to mm. three no trump is a contract to win nine tricks as well you only win six I mean, the opponents won seven they actually got more tricks than you did oh okay you get 150 points for the three i like that i like that one more example let's try this one Here's a slam contract. Six, no trump. I south. My partner. Ooh. Now, 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 just before you go into that, because that's something <laughs> I wanted to explain a little bit. I know that there's some, there's two different slams. Can you kind of explain what those slams are? Yeah, there's a small slam and a grand slam. Uh, there are 13 tricks total in the hand, right? A small slam is a contract to win 12 of them. You can only lose one. A grand slam is a contract to win all 13 of them. Wow. So that would be a contract of seven. Seven plus six is 13. That's all the tricks. Ooh. Now, if you make these contracts, they're big bonuses. Ooh. Yeah, no, I def definitely, we want to keep that as a teaser for next exactly. time because I want to hear about that. But when you go down one, meaning you only won 11 tricks instead of 12, Whew. the opponents get 50, you get nothing. Oh, wow. Seven spades by West. Say it goes down five. <laughs> Woo! Now, since this was East-West going yep. down, we get 250. Now, that one is... Where's the trick? Now, you went below a line there, I so... Did. I I shouldn't have done that. Oh, okay, I'm just curious. I just went running out of space. Here we go. I'll move the line. <laughs> uh oh I've, I'm sure that's been done before. <laughs> so, um, under trick scores or set trick scores, they go above the line. So they don't contribute to winning a game uh, in the rubber. They don't contribute to winning the rubber. Oh. But there are points, and if you're playing for a penny a point, there's uh, five bucks for our side and a dollar fifty for their side. I love that. Okay, that's a that's a good one. So hey, that's awesome. And remember, his name is Mojo uh, at Pasadena. Pasadena what? Bridge Club. <laughs> yeah, PasadenaBridgeClub.com. And, and and if you just want to play some bridge for fun, we have social games on Thursday evenings. 7 o'clock, Saturday mornings, 9.30. Subscribe to the podcast. Drop a note to Glenn. He'll give you a special secret code. You get a free game. Hoo-hoo! Uh, sounds great. So thank you so much, Mojo. And yes, everybody, we got that small slam and that grand slam teaser that we're going to talk about next time. There you go. Thank you much. All right. Yes. Thank you very much, Mojo. And thank you so much for that offer. We just had to put the yeah, subscribers, our follow, fellow subscribers. Uh, you can get a secret decoder ring. <laughs> the secret code. Uh, go ahead and request that from uh, Heather, our content manager, and she will make it so. Okay, we're going down the funnel tunnel of making the set here, and uh, we're going to try to go ahead and put our little trick-taking games twist on this. Uh, and here's a twisted uh, <laughs> slide. Uh, yeah, a couple books, a separator, and a pair of eyeballs. <laughs> What's that all about? Okay, uh, well... As Mojo put across to us, making the contract involves, yes, thank you very much, Kitty, book tricks and odd tricks. Now, book tricks are the very first six tricks taken by the declaring team. The declaring team is the one who won the bid. 
Now the odd tricks taken after the book tricks, okay? That's what the odd tricks are, the, the ones taken after the book tricks. Okay, so the book tricks, thank you all. Thanks for the reminder. The book tricks, hey, we get- I know nothing. Nothing. We get absolutely nothing. No points or anything for our efforts. The odd tricks we get. Yeah, we get some cha-ching, yeah. Now, we're gonna go ahead and break down just a three diamond winning bid uh, actually where they made the contract, okay? Now, the three, okay, as we look here, this three here is the odd tricks, okay? The book, there's the book, that's the first six tricks. And then we say three diamond, we're saying, hey, we're gonna get three over that six. And that's where we start getting points. Uh, yeah, because we want that cha-ching, my friends. And as a reminder for the six tricks. I know nothing, nothing. I'm sorry, we don't get anything for that. Just concentrate on three so you can get your cha-ching. <laughs> Now, how much cha-ching do you get if you make the contract? Well, since these are diamonds, diamonds here, and we can see the point differential over here, well, we get 20 points each for each one over the book. There's six, we're three over the books. So, okay, well, let's go on to some multiplication here. Uh, we got three times 20, equals 60 points yeah that's what i'm talking about <laughs> and that way we get our chiching that's what it's all about now we're going to have a little respite uh that actually is a request that we something we had done before so we're going to go into that but before we go into that we're going to have a little trivia question uh, yeah. I know nothing. nothing. You heard that a couple of times. What TV show does this voice that does that voice come from? And, and here's a hint. Bob Crane was the main character in the show. Please put your comment and answer below, and let's go ahead and just absorb silently. Just close your eyes for a second, and. Let's get a little calming respite. Yeah, that was nice, except for my pointer being in the way. <laughs> uh, but it was very restful. And we need that rest because going into making the set is all <laughs> about upsetting your opponent and not making their contract. Uh, now, Mojo, yeah, he gave us that example of the three diamonds here uh, and that and we go, well, that minus two, Glenn, what the heaven does that mean? Well, it means that south and north were short two tricks, which is why we see that minus two. And when we look at the minus two, we know that for each point that you're, my, each, I should say, for each trick that you are below, making the contract, you multiply that by 50. So, yeah, he's upset. See, well, he's so upset he lost his tea. <laughs> his teeth or his tea? Well, he doesn't have many teeth anyway. Oh, uh, but yeah. So, we're we kind of get to see what's going on there. Two times, which would be 50. I'll just put a 50 here. No, I won't do it. Equals a hundred points, but we we kind of talked about well, why not? Hey, let's let's that's what this is all about. Let's put a little pin here. So we got 
two tricks they were short by and it's 50 points each okay that you lose when you are short by tricks and that equals a hundred points yeah let's get a little visual on that awesome i like that now 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 that we got all that rolling for us let's go yeah see i even wow i didn't have to short this was already there <laughs> in fact actually this one kind of hurt ouch yes <laughs> that 100 points hurt we're now that i've redundancy twice we're going to redundancy some more with some questions okay redundancy equals retention questions okay the first six tricks taken from the winning bid team is called book okay what are the tricks taken from the winning bid after book call <laughs> wow i don't know that's some pretty bad grammar but basically okay um <clears throat> you have the six tricks that equal the book what are what are the tricks called after you've actually hit those six so after the six tricks you've taken what are the tricks called after that that's a little clearer those are odd tricks okay and does the winning bid team get points for book tri tricks those first six tricks absolutely no okay well well does the winning bid team get points for odd tricks and as we had shown from the last slide slide side or slide side <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know what I mean. But hey, from the from the last side side slide that we had shown, in the sense of uh, yeah, if we put that three D and they made three odd tricks, and each one of those tricks because their diamonds were equal to twenty, then that equaled sixty points, right? Okay. So uh, to the answer that is yes, exactly. And uh, what about this? Hey, does the opposing team, okay, when the people are opposing you, making the contract, do they get points for making the set against you? And that's an absolute yes. Well, well, well how many points do they get? Okay, well, uh, they get 50 points each. So in that case, when we had that three d diamonds right south and it was minus two okay that means there were two tricks they were two tricks short if we take that two and times it by 50 yeah they got a hundred points for making the set against us ouch <laughs> Okay, well, well, let's not forget Mojo at Pasadena Bridge Club. That's PasadenaBridgeClub.com and his offer, yeah, for a free bridge game, which usually costs money when you go to a bridge club. And uh, when were those times that we could get that free game? Okay, we got Saturdays every Saturday uh, from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. and every Thursday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Again, uh, contact Heather, and she will send you a secret, special secret, I should say, code. Now, just whistle along. Like and subscribe, please. Thank you for being today.